Here's the next thing I'm going to test on my P1P. It's a 0.2 millimeter nozzle. I'm going to see uh, how good it can print some small models. Let's uh, see how easy it is to chuck it in. Okay, first we pull this off. Okay, that was easy enough. Now, tools. Unscrew these two bolts. Oh, <laughs> I'm an idiot. First thing you got to do is heat up the nozzle and retract all the element out of it. Ah. Okay, let's uh, do that and then we'll try this again. Well, let's try that again. I just uh, heated it up, got the filament out, and then had to wait for it to cool down. Now I can start pulling this apart again. And at least this time I have my tools with me, so it should make it a little easier. I hope. Oh yeah. Now it's loose, you pull down, pull over, pop this off, pop this off. And sneak the wires out somehow. How do those come out of there? Okay, right through the side. Nozzle A is out. I bought the complete assembly because I'm lazy and it's just uh, easier to do it this way in my opinion so I was wondering which one of these plugged into where but that's easy to figure out because one of them is shorter overall than the other so this kind of up in place. I'm gonna use reuse the old screws because I'm cheap. I can save the other ones for if I need them sometime. Right. Okay. That's better. Really, this is quite a bit easier than like an ender trying to change nozzles. That's not too bad, I guess. It's just I like the fact that it doesn't have to be hot while you're trying to switch these where like an ender 3 you need to heat that nozzle up before you do that Go. And these one. That one's easier. Let's put this one back on. A fan shroud.
done. Now let's uh, try and print a little mini model with it. So I don't know if the camera will pick up how just how tiny this thing is. I don't have big hands. Just fat fingers. But I'm pretty impressed with the fine detail on such a little tiny D&D &D model. So that's a 0.2 millimeter nozzle with a 0.1 millimeter layer height and it took about an hour but uh, yeah I kind of messed a couple things up as I was pulling off supports because they do come off but when little details like the hilt of the or the little spikes on the sword uh, are so tiny um, yeah it's pretty easy to rip them off so pretty cool yeah I think I like that 0.2 millimeter nozzle it's pretty cool and it was easy to swap out I'm doing a text uh, extrude test with the 0.2 millimeter nozzle just to see what kind of definition I can get out of it so um, yeah here it goes I'm gonna swap it to black filament for the letters and hopefully it turns out decent well there it is um, got a little bit of a layer shift when I swapped uh, colors there's a lot of little stringies in between the letters but I can read the that's supposedly two millimeters I'm gonna measure it this seems a little smaller than the first one I printed um, and I can't find that one to compare it with but yeah interesting so I could go as low as 0.2 millimeter no sorry two millimeter text height so that's with a 0.2 millimeter nozzle pretty cool so I'm gonna do another clearance and tolerance test with the 0.2 millimeter nozzle so I found this on printables.com I'll try and link it below it's the only one that I found that had you know 0 0.6 0 0.8 you know it had smaller uh, tolerances to test this thing out um, yeah I'm gonna send it to the printer and see what happens supposedly it's gonna take four hours and 44 minutes uh, 0.2 millimeter nozzle at 0.1 millimeter layer height. Let's uh, see how this thing goes. Well, it's done. Four hours later, and let's see if we can get this off the build plate easily. Let's bend it. Oh yeah, Love this plate. Okay. So, let's start with the biggest one, 0.16, no problems, 0.14, yeah, that's an, that moves easy, 0 0.12, that's sticky, can I break it loose, is there a problem on the back, nope, 0 0.10, nope, 0 0.08, 0 0.06, well, that's interesting. 0.14. Hmm. I'm gonna give this some some a little bit of oomph on this. Let me just set my camera down. Okay, 0.14 moves. 0.12 just took a little bit. Probably because I didn't. Yeah, I should have put the um, the seam line in a specific location. Let's try 0.1. Nope. 0.8. Okay. And 0.8 works. With a little force. Point zero, that's 0 0.08. Actually. No, 0 0.06 is not going to move. That's strange why 0.1 doesn't want to move. Interesting. So, technically, what does this prove? Well, with 0 0.02 millimeter wide nozzle, you should be able to get a lot tighter tolerances. This just makes no sense why 0.1 doesn't move. Something just, something caught. 
Nope, I'm going to break that. Yeah, it's solid. Anyway, there you go.